Hi everybody, welcome to Kate's Space. Uh, technically, I'm not in Kate's Space. I'm still up in Auckland staying with Briley and Albie uh, in their home waiting for our baby to arrive. So Brittany is still not in labour, but I think she might be, you know, doing some things. So it's getting exciting. Briley and Albie are off at work, so I've got the house here to myself. And so I thought I would do a little video and check in with everybody. I went to a market on Easter Monday. Now, I've been wanting to go to this market for ages. It's called Central Flea. It's in Balmoral and it's run by a shop called, with a great name, called Junk and Disorderly, which is a shop I often visit when I'm here. They have just the most amazing range of vintage, retro, just oh it's a massive big sort of shed warehouse type place and the treasures in there are unbelievable anyway so normally they have the central flea market every second sunday but this weekend or last weekend they decided to have it on easter monday and there's an just a huge array of stores stalls um so i thought i'd share with you what i uh found so we kind of wandered around and one of the first things I did see was this lovely uh, cotton fabric and a big sort of suitcase of things. This, it's a, um, just a cotton, is it 12? Anyway, I really loved it and I don't think it's, I don't even think it's probably vintage, but I really liked it. It's a good big size piece. And I really love the colour and I love the print on it. So, yeah, I grabbed that. And actually, I grabbed uh, I grabbed some buttons from that stall too, but I'm not sure where they are. Oh, they're in here. So that was good. I'll just show you the buttons. Oh, yeah, here's a little, a little set of um, vintage sort of buttons here. So yeah, I was really pleased with that little buy. I didn't, I saw those first, but I didn't actually buy those first. The first things I purchased were actually um, these gorgeous little tins. They were a really good price. So actually I bought all of these fluted ones. And I think I saw maybe it was Rhonda from A Little Bit French and she made uh, Christmas decorations out of these. But I thought they would be really cute to fill with little vintage bits maybe sell in my shop or give away as happy mail. But anyway, I love them. Um, Joe, my sister said, I hope you're gonna use them for baking, but no, probably not. <laughs> I could, but they were just a good price. So I grabbed all of them. And then she had, a, this stall also had a whole lot of these ones, which I really loved as well. I don't really have any idea, to be honest, what I'm gonna do with them, but I really liked them. And cause the price was so good, I grabbed them and I haven't seen them around. Um, and also from that stall, I got these cool um, old card numbers, which I really love. Briley and I both um, love these because in the old days, <laughs> back in the old ballet competitions, I don't know what they do now, but they used to have a board and they used to slide, you all had a number when it was your turn. They used to slide the numbers in and that the adjudicator would know which number you were anyway we really love them and they've just got a really nice aged look to them so i grabbed those they were not expensive either and then i grabbed this tin as well so this is quite an old beaten up tin but i really loved it and so i grabbed it i love the image on it as well so that was actually in the stalls and then the other thing I got were these, there were lots of people selling sort of old brooches and things, but I really liked these. They're just, you know, costume jewelry, but they all say mother. Apparently they came from a woman who collected them. And the lady at the store said she's had them for a while and no one's shown any interest and she'd dropped them down to uh, a certain price. And I was looking them and umming and ahhing. I thought how neat they would be on the front of like a Mother's Day journal or a mother and daughter journal or something like that. Uh, and then as as I was 
thinking, I wonder if I should offer her uh, a, a different price for them. She said, oh, well, you can have them for $10. So I got the three of them for $10, and I was really happy with that. They're in quite good condition. All the gems are there. And although I wouldn't kind of buy something like this for me or anything like that, I just think on a journal they'll be really cool on the cover of a journal. So, yeah, I was really pleased with those. Um, so we, yeah, we had a good old wander around, and then we went into the store that's called Junk and Disorderly. Uh, they had just so many things there, so I, in no particular order, I saw this curtain. I saw a bigger one, and then I saw the smaller one, and I thought, oh, well, I'll just buy the smaller one. It was slightly less faded, but I just loved this fabric. It's a Sanderson. And it's just a, a light cotton, but I thought that was really beautiful. Um, yeah, I just the the um, design on it just really appealed to me. Had no price on it, so all the things I grabbed were just a bit of a lottery when I went up to the counter. And then at the same time, that I mean, where these were was such a mess, and there were a lot of people there. It was super busy and hard to get to things. So. But I really loved this um, this linen as well, the fabric and um, the lace on it. So I grabbed those two linen things. Uh, what else did I grab? I saw, oh, there was a whole lot of really damaged um, sheet music. I grabbed this one. I mean, I know it's really damaged, but I just thought it was a really beautiful picture on the front. I will have to make something with it pretty smartly, I think, because otherwise it's just going to fall apart. But I also love the blue on the back. So I don't know, this might make it into my my journal that I'm making somehow. But I'm, yeah, I'm not sure because it is quite, quite fragile. But I love that. I, to be honest, I have no idea how much she charged me for those because I took everything up to the front. One of the things I did want to get, and I knew they had these uh, these Kodachrome slides, and they had a big box of them, and so I grabbed, I only grabbed 10, but um, they've all still got their photo, you know, their slides in them, which you can remove. But uh, if you've watched my last video, you'll see me decorating some of these, and I really loved doing it, so now I've got 10 more to play with. So yeah, they were a really good price. Then I found um, a box of old photos. These were quite pricey, so I was, well not pricey, but not super, super bargain. So I was kind of just really careful about which ones I chose. Um, this one is from, I think 1923, or April 23rd, or maybe not. Anyway, it's got some writing on the back, and I just really liked that image. I thought it was quite neat. And I really liked this one. I love the decal edge on these old pictures, so I grabbed that. Then I saw a box in one of the cabinets. Oh, actually, no. That I saw in with these photos were all this other stuff, so I don't know. how. <laughs> I grabbed this. I loved this tag. It's obviously a travel tag from a cruise. I don't know. It just appealed to me, so I grabbed it. And then I also found this in there too, which is a some kind of religious um, paraphernalia. So I grabbed that. And what else did I grab? Oh, here's some more photos, yeah. I grabbed this little guy. How cute. Look at that face. <laughs> oh, cracks me up. Nine months. What's the name? Oh, I'm not sure. Not sure what the name is. And then these two little guys sitting on the wall by the beach, I think. Is it the beach? No, just the wall above some town, I think. Oh, this has got writing on it. 1945. So I grabbed that one. And then another religious um, little doodacky with this image on it. I thought that was quite cool, but I thought that might be nice if I ever make sort of a religious prayer journal or anything like that. Then we did spot the box of the vintage... Uh, greeting cards and I have quite a collection of these and I love them and so I just went to town it did say 
a price on the box that they were in. Uh, and when I went up to the counter, they said, oh, they were in the wrong box and they were more expensive. So I just said, add them up and give and just give me a price. They weren't a bargain, but for me, they were definitely worth it. I'll show you the box. A box they were in was one like this. An old, I don't know if you can see this because I know I can't move my camera any higher. Uh, this is an old brick mold. So I grabbed one of these as well. I thought that would be cool to hold things in on my desk. So yeah, that's that was one of the more expensive things I bought, but I really liked it, so I grabbed it. Anyway, let's hopefully you'll have um, you're okay with me showing you these cards. I'll try not to be too long. So there was one like this. Actually, I think there was two, maybe two of this one and another one like this, and I nearly bought them all, but I thought no, I'll just buy one. But some of these are very old and they're just beautiful. So I'm just really pleased with these. 1882. And I'd really love, if I can ever get my head around scanning, I'd really love to scan these and share them um, in my Etsy store. But at the moment, as you know, my scanning skills or my scanner, my printer scans things. And it does not catch the beautiful sepias it goes all the sepia here would be pink and I don't know how to fix it so there we go but I might get them scanned at a shop and then make a maybe make a little because you could scan maybe scan that and then scan the inside separately and you could make this cool little Card with it for your journals. I think that would be so awesome. To Dear Arthur from Kate. I thought that was cool. And this Christmas one I thought was cool. Could go into a Christmas journal. I don't, that's not so old, I don't think. And then a couple more of these little cards. They're a bit more um, sort of religious, but they're super pretty. I loved this one. Oh, yes, I obviously love this one because I bought two of these <laughs> from Mum and Joe. With our love, my sister's called Joe. And then this one too, an anniversary wish to Jen, oh, Len and Joan from Bill and Bob. <laughs> and then this beautiful one. Yeah, so I, I'm. I'm thrilled with these. There were so there were more, but I tried to <laughs> I tried to refrain from buying any more. Happy New Year. I love this one because it came in this old grungy envelope and so did this one, this Christmas one. So they'll go in the Christmas box. I don't think this one's so old, but I love the envelope, obviously. And then this lovely one here. To Donald, my dad was called Donald. And some more of these Christmas ones here. Just beautiful, aren't they? And I have a shop in Napier, as you know, that sells these, uh, but they're more expensive than what I paid for these, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. And you know, part of me wants to go back and buy the rest, so you never know, I might. <laughs> This baby doesn't come soon. <laughs> to Don from Neil. And then this one, I love this one. It's torn, but I love this holly on here. That's a really beautiful one as well. This one here, which is also a little bit damaged, but they are, they're super old. Another one here. So cool. Be cool to try and um, make one. Like maybe you could photocopy it and then cut all these bits out. I might try that. That would be fun. But this one's embossed as well. Love this one. This is one of my favourites. This little one here. It's like a little sort of shell. Flower music and this beautiful little tassel. How adorable is that? So cool. And then there were, the, oh, there's a few more here. <laughs> yeah, I went to town. I was just like, oh, I've got to have that one. I've got to have that one. I've got to have that one. <laughs> so 
I've got quite the collection now, so it would be beautiful or um, it would be really neat to be able to yeah, scan those. And then I got these cool telegrams. These aren't like the really old sort of telegrams, but you know, I have never seen any of these from New Zealand. So obviously this is obviously the birth of a baby because um, it's a National Women's Hospital, which used to be the hospital, everyone, um, the main sort of late women's hospital which now is with the main hospital in Auckland, but it used to be called National Women's. Uh, so there's that one there, little telegram. And this one, now this one um, it has the little typed bit. I guess they used to stick it on there. So yeah, delighted at news. So that doesn't have an address or anything on it, but it's to the same people, I think. doesn't say who it's to I don't know if that's just faded off maybe and then this one's the same 5th of September and this has got news fondest love congratulations we are delighted at wonderful news fondest love Spratt family so yeah that sticks on there like that so yeah I thought they were cool I think it is the same to the same family because it's the dates are the same so that was cool and then I spotted this and actually when I looked at the price I misread it and it turned out to be more than what I thought but you don't see New Zealand um, sort of balance books or ledgers very often and the thing I love about this is I can't it, there's no place where it says what company it's for but all of the things are like for Little Women, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So it was obviously a theatre because um, they're buying the rights, um, the royalties and everything for Little Women, royalties for Snow White and then production costs. And yeah, so it's really cool. And it's 1957 through to 69. But yeah, I wish it had somewhere what theatre it was. That would be really cool. But anyway, I love it. And... Then, of course, I've got all this lovely ledger paper that I can use as well. So that was good. I was really pleased with that find. My favourite thing, <laughs> my favourite thing that I found is this. Does anyone know what this is? Because I was looking at it going, oh, I wonder what that is. And then I looked and I realised what it is. It's actually a dry embosser to use for, um, like, documents what they used to use in documents and so you put your document or whatever under there and then you press down I don't know if to work on that paper and you end up with this embossed thing and I am totally stoked with this to be honest well it has torn the paper so it says Asimit Limited it's got little stars and then this little sort of pattern in the middle I am totally over the moon with this purchase, to be honest. I think I will use that all the time. All the things are going to get dry embossed with that. <laughs> so, yeah, that was really cool. And then, obviously, the box, uh, the brick box. So, yeah, that was my purchase. And then I decided I wanted to go back. I was pretty keen to get the rest of that fabric and have another look when there weren't so many people there because during the week it's a lot... Sorry, I am wobbling that camera around I? Uh, during the week, it's a lot less busy. So we went back yesterday and I found my curtain. So I bought this. Um, it's a huge amount. And then, of course, it's backed with this very cool um, sort of old calico. I mean, I don't know how old this fabric is. Um, it's a Sanderson. You don't really see it. And actually, I'm quite keen to make myself some pants out of this. What do you think? <laughs> I'd love some trousers out of this. That'd be so cool. So, and I was saying to Ella, I'll make myself some pants and make you some little shorts. We can be matching. So that was really cool. But the first thing I saw yesterday, excuse me while I just bend over and get what I saw first. And I was so excited. Was these Braille books. Uh, and I talked to the woman when I went up to purchase these and she said the Blind Foundation was moving buildings and they were going to throw out all these Braille books. Anyway, so I'm totally stoked with this purchase. Um, 
So I've got this beautiful brown one. And this paper is just beautiful. I don't know how you take it apart. I think it's stitched. Yep, it's stitched in. So that'll be amazing. And I even love this cover somehow to make a journal out of that would be very cool. So I'm really thrilled with that. And then I found, or actually Briley found this, a box of Braille paper. And I grabbed this as well because it's a different colour. And also it's just in sheets and it's actually from 1976. And it's the work, student workbook. So it's actually how to learn Braille. So some of it has hardly anything um, on it. Um, some of it has funny, you know, interesting shapes. Um, just lines like this. Can you see? Yeah, and I just love the creaminess of this paper. So actually, I thought I might put some of this in my Etsy shop if anyone would be interested. So watch out for that. I'm going to just package it up into pieces a certain amount. It'll just be like maybe 10 pieces or something. That doesn't, it has to weigh less than 200 and be less than a centimetre thick so that it can go uh, as a letter and that will keep the postage down. So that look out for that in my shop. There'll be some of this and some other colors, hopefully. So I'm excited about that for myself and also to be able to share that with people. And then as we're going up to the counter, I had some music and I decided not to buy the music because I saw these and I decided I wanted to buy these rather than the sheet music because I have so much sheet music. So these are a whole lot of old documents and they do need to be, I need to um, flatten them out. All a collection of old documents from, I think the 50s and 60s. Um, difficult for me to show them to you properly, but just this one is from 1958, but how beautiful is that? Um, and then just a variety of old um, receipts, invoices, mostly to do, I think, with cars, so maybe from a vehicle shop, um, some insurance papers um, and things. But yeah, they were all rolled up, so I'm going to be putting my book press, my paper press, to good use. Um, like this cool little typed thing, the old pin in there. So this was a real good find actually Albie spotted that and he went oh what about that and I'm like oh yes so there's that roll and then there were these as well so there's lots heaps and heaps so I'm really excited because there's so many here I just think I will maybe be able to just pop these into journals as um, original documents um, they're not super, super old, like they're not from the 1800s or anything, but um, they're still really cool. There's another really neat one there with some beautiful um, typeface on it. There's a beautiful blue one. Yeah, so I am absolutely thrilled with that. I was really thrilled. So I'm pretty happy with what I have got. I then decided I would grab some more slides. So I grabbed 10 more slides. I loved this one. This one was a little bit different. This one I love too, because it looks just a little bit older. And then the rest are the Kodachrome. So yep, I got 10 more of those. So I now have 20 slides to play with. And I grabbed some more photos. So I love this one of his, the dad and his baby. And this one, this wee girl, how cute is she? And then this little baby in the pram. Yeah, so those are my finds. Oh, and this old envelope, which she didn't charge me for. Uh, she was probably thinking I was a bit odd. But anyway, I explained to her what I use them for, and she was keen to be tagged in on anything that I made with the stuff that I'd bought. So I need to get on and get creating. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I just really wanted to share the things that I found. I was very, very excited. 
um, and yeah some of these will be you'll be seeing in my shop hopefully the braille paper in packs and hopefully I might put a few in see if anyone's interested and then if they sell I'll go back and maybe get some more all right thanks so much have a great day and I will see you in the next video bye